Welcome back fishies. Here we are season two episode five already. Can you believe it? And today what we're going to be doing is we're going to mount this toolbox right here to our trailer to be able to toast, put toe straps in and even get maybe a few hand tools to carry along on the trailer. And of course, you know, today we're going to be cutting some metal to fit and this is going to be our first piece. Now what I've done is put this edge on the toolbox and where the other edge of the toolbox is, I've made a mark. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cordless grinder and I'm going to cut this section off. than this piece but this piece is also going to be resting on the trailer frame itself now what we've got to do is cut the side pieces for our frame and the way we're going to do that is exactly like I just did the other piece because we want our thicker side down I'm going to match it up to the back of the toolbox take my marker and right at the front edge I'm gonna make a line and then I'll do the same to the other piece because it's gonna be identical for the other side I want to thank everybody for coming back and being so patient with us on our break because had a lot of things to get done and not enough time to do it in.
Now we've got our plates. And as you can see, they fit flush with the box. Now we can set the box out of the way for right now. Because our main concern is getting these plates bolted up first. And we want it right at the edge. And of course, if mom will come around here so we can show you the holes that's already in the trailer. See, we've got this hole here and these two here. And we're going to use those like this right here. This one first. Get the washer on. Hopefully, I can get my fingers in there. And the reason we're sticking this in out instead of the other end is because we want the box to fit as flush as possible. Oh, and we're going to need our tool. Does that hold the hair off? Sometimes it's a little tricky and you can't actually see what you're doing on the other side. There it goes. Now we're cooking with gas. Nice and snug. Now our hope is going to be that these will line up the way we need it to. Now, of course, we will end up drilling through the bottom of the toolbox. But we're not going to do that right now. We're just trying to get the frame built so we can mark our holes. And all those fellas could always just bungee cord it. Done that many a times. And now we are going to have to make a hole for this side of the plate. Finger out of the way. Just a little extra room. 
or the bolts. Now we're going to have to do the same thing on this side. Tad bit trickier because we got to do it just a hair different. Actually, we may be able to get away with that. Just make that hole a little bigger. Like that. right way with the lock washer on bottom. Like I said, right now we're just going to hand tighten everything. I actually just did that one backwards. Put the lock washer on top instead of the bottom. You know, anything you do, you want to do it you know, as close to perfect as you can get it. But it's more about what makes you happy. If, you're, if you can live with it, who cares what the rest of the world thinks about it? Because it's yours, do it how you want. As Bad Chad says, take what you like, throw away what you don't. This one hand tight. Pull the toolbox up. Make sure that we got everything exactly how we need it. that's in there but as you can tell it doesn't sit quite how we need it so this is how we're going to fix that washer is doing its job. And this is how we're going to fix it. Let's see if 
the other one's coming the other direction. Nope, this is right. Make a marker. This is again. Now, granted, it's probably going to give a little bit on this corner, but that's okay. <clears throat> because that means we can take the other plate, do the same thing, and actually have it braced under here, I think. Of course, you know, brace that down. It's really you know, it's not going to go very far. And we can always come back later with a stiffer plate to be able to hook it in place. And of course, you know, it could just be that it may not work after all. But, like I said, nothing real heavy is going to be put in it. It's just going to be for toe straps. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. You had mentioned bolting the toolbox to the frame. The back side of the toolbox, could you bolt it to that piece of metal <coughs> that runs on the back side? Well, and you know, that that is a thought of, you know, drilling a hole right here through the toolbox or even somewhere in here and bolting it in and we may do that you know right now it's more just trying to get the frame put together uh, which I'm actually going to use this one here right here uh, add a little bit up Had more stability right there, maybe that'll help fix it. Right now, it's a matter of just getting the tray in place.
it. I'm going to tighten these up. Now we're good and sturdy. See if that has any effect whatsoever. And now it's sturdy. Now, <clears throat> what I can do is get a drill bit because this will be too thick to be able to run through a current hole in the trailer frame to be able to go into the back of the box and of course I've got a hole right here on either bracket that I could take a typical metal screw and just zip it right through it and then pull it out make a bore hole run a new nut washer and bolt through it and that's probably what I'm going to end up doing and you notice yes there's a little bit of gap right here but, again, I can hook a bungee strap over and then be able to hook it through this hole here. That way, it's staying in place. And, of course, you know, what kind of a toolbox is it? Well, you know, we've already got a few hand tools in here. But, for the rest of the part, you know, i got a pipe cutter. And, now, I have something put my tie down back there. And be able to close it up and off we go with it. I mean it's it's all about vision, you know, what you think of, you know it's up to you if you're able to do it. I mean, do I have any Votech training, you know, college education? No. All I've got is a high school diploma. You know, I read a lot of books. I watch a lot of YouTube videos myself to learn how to do stuff. I watch Bad Chat a lot. I watch Vice Script Garage. And, you know, it's apples and oranges to a degree. But at the same time, they do teach you a lot if you're willing to pay attention. You could learn things from movies, and I know I've said this a thousand times before. You know, watch somebody do something. You know, if somebody's doing something that you don't know how to do it, stand still, ears, eyes open, and pay attention. And you can learn how to do it. I mean, most of what I've done in the past few days, I've watched somebody else do it. And I figure out the little parts that I'm not sure on. I either ask a question or I try and figure it out myself. I've never built anything like this before. And you saw me just build it. <laughs> I mean, and I, and I will say it till I'm blue in the face. You can do anything you put your mind to. You just got to do it. You know? It's... It's only hard if you make it hard. You know, granted, yeah, there's some things that I don't even attempt to do because it's pretty hard. You know, I know my physical limitations. But I also know that I don't have a whole lot of mental limitations. Granted, it might take me time to figure out how to make something work. But that's the fun of the process. You know, when you accomplish it, you say, hey, I did that. 
you know. And being able to figure out how to do stuff like this makes me happy. You got to do what makes you happy. And that's basically going to wrap up the episode. I mean, it's already done. You know, a few little tweaks here and there, but, you know, like you really want to watch me try and figure that out. We could be here for days, me trying to figure that out. So, as always, until the next episode, thought I heard something. Until the next episode, much love, rock on, have a blessed day, everybody, and be sure to like, share, subscribe, and come back tomorrow. You never know what we're going to be doing. Until then, peace.